How's it going guys? My name is Doe and I hope you're doing good. Hope you're just staying safe and everything's going great. In this video, I'll be making something on the repeaters in Blaze Escalation and just going over how that works. I got a flawless on Torgadaro, which is why I'm sort of making this video. It was pretty cool. I liked it. And I will say that repeaters are not my favorite weapon S in Blaze Escalation or any Escalation at the moment. Just so we're all clear, I will do my best though to not say anything negative because I have some strong feelings on weapons. Now, right now I'm getting some empowerment off the Wilbers, and I'm going to go ahead and kill them. It takes four shots to kill them, you're empowered, and that just gives me a little bonus when I go into the fight. You don't have to do this, I just do it because, why not? Playing repeaters, it's, it feels kind of nice to shoot a monster from a decent range and do like 2k a shot. And my first behemoth is Skarn. This is scuffed. This is beyond scuffed, it's not even funny. Like, this is just... This is the worst. This is beyond the worst possible matchup I could have first round. Like, I guess if I got, if I got like, round uh, four, it would be a bit worse, but come on, man. Come on, man. And uh, you guys might not notice this, but I'm not really rocking any sort of, like, method for booping in this in this uh, escalation. I do not have my um, Saboteur's Grip, which isn't very good, by the way. Don't use that if you don't have to. And I also don't have any conch grenades. I don't. I don't really like bringing conch grenades, which are concussive grenades. You only get three. You can't replenish them. Like I'm not gonna bring something I can only use three of in escalation where I, I fight seven behemoths. That's just. I, I can't. I can't get behind that. But anyway, I'm doing my best to try and kill it, marking it, doing all kinds of stuff, and just doing everything I really can in this situation. And I'm looking pretty healthy. I'm not gonna lie. I'm looking. Like, I am just full, almost full health. Like, things are going pretty good. I'm chilling. Not worried whatsoever. Pumping out some absurd damage. Do you see those? Oh, my, oh bro. Did you guys see those almost double-digit shots on the Scar Armor? And I'm leaking my build to take a, take a screenshot. I'm not talking. I will not discuss my build in this video. It'll be too obnoxious. So take your screenshots. Hit it up. I'm taking some big old sips of the Aetherade. Walk into the freaking lodestone. Gonna pick my juicy amps. Oh, it's gonna be so exciting. Are you ready? Wait, actually, I forgot. I actually got really good. I got a really good amp choice. Throw the hunt is no troll. A amazing amp. Normally, I get things like uh, from the ashes round one, which makes me really sad. Just really sad overall. So I'm I'm shooting Wilbur again. I got my empowerment, and I try to like save the last shot that kills it and reload again, and just do my best to get a empowered shot off here, which isn't the most viable honestly but i just do it because it, it, it makes me feel cool all right is that is that just so much to to understand it makes me feel cool inside so i'm doing my best to focus the thing i mark just to get the most damage out of my marksman chamber which is what i'm using and i'm focusing one behemoth down at a time because i don't want to have freaking blaze quill shot going to narnea and tossing quills at me like final quests on twitch which by the way who is sending me for a quest on Twitch? I like it doesn't do anything. It, I, anyway, I digress. I digress. We're back into the fight. All right, we're back into the, the heat of things. Shooting the quills, trying to get some damage in. They do some pretty good damage. 600 damage a shot if you shoot the quills back. It's not life changing, but I like it nonetheless. Dodging quill shot, which quill shot has the freaking hand of God. Like he he can throw some some hooks, dude. It actually catches me off guard. Like blades quill shot messes me up a little bit. But we marked Nasher's face. He's not happy. Broke it. And I am using precision precision sights. Normally I say precision shites. That's not that's not what it is. So I'm using precision sights, and you want to stay on the one part as long as you possibly can. I'm just trying to stun lock Nasher with part breaks, so I'm sort of like not doing that. That's just why I play repeaters. So if I can, I do my best to sort of stun lock behemoths with part breaks if it's possible. And in this case, it was it was pretty pretty efficient, I think, overall. But we're back to our second attempt at some good amps. Not ideal. Not ideal whatsoever. Like I I didn't remember I forgot to take away hotshot, which is not a good amp to have. It's fun, it's unique, it's cool. But if you're going for a decent like a, a decent just speedy hunt and escalation and blaze escalation, you do not want to have hotshot. It is not the play whatsoever. And I'm not so sure if I go to kill Wilbur here. I forgot. Oh, Wilbur. Oh, dude. I, I saved a pig's life by deciding not to slaughter it. I'm a saint. I'm actually a saint. All right. We have Blaze Akiri. 
which I just oh I love it so much. It brings it brings me great joy. Now the one redeeming thing on this round though is I do have Blaze Smolisks, which is nice because I can get empowerment off them if I'm not near Rezakiri. And right now I'm pumping absurd damage into freaking Rezakiri's face. It is actually unreal. I get hit there, lose Predator. I'm a little upset, but it's whatever. We're gonna ruin Rezakiri's day. Get some body blockage from the snail right there. That's you love to see it. <laughs> what the heck? It was blocking the shots after it died. All right, that's that's cool. I'm okay with that. But like I said earlier, I'm trying to pretty much break parts to stun lock it the best I can, because Rezakiri is not the most enjoyable thing in the world to fight when it's just out here casting blaze balls the entire time. Like it's it's tossing the freaking a throwback at me. Because as a kid, you could buy those little hot Cheetos in a, in a freaking canister. They were like in a, a, a freaking a sphere shape. Those are pretty good. I'm not sure if they're hot Cheetos or not, but they were they were bangers at the time. So he's trying to open a can of those on me, and I'm not really about it. So it's almost dead. And um, I was kind of shocked by this because of how much damage I was outputting, considering that Rizakiri is a pain to shoot or to just hit with most weapons. But repeaters, you know, the projectile. So as long as you're in the effective range... You can pump out some damage. All right, time for round three of oh, see? Okay, so honestly, I didn't get too robbed here. I got packed to swiftness, but it did hit me with From the Ashes, which again, you don't need if you're going for a fast hunt time. I was doing a different video that was super late where I was talking about the amps and stuff, so that's why I had random stuff. So this is a round, this is round four. We're against Koshai and Nizaga. Not my favorite combo. I will be um, completely upfront about that. Not my favorite combo in the entire world. I'm choosing to kill Koshai first because Nene is just in Narnia doing his own thing. I'm not sure what he's doing exactly, but he's just hanging out. Oh, he's back in the fight. He's going to probably pimp him from the back. I can see him. Putting it. Okay, nope. Nene's drunk. Okay, it's cool. So I'm out here doing some decent damage to the Koshai. I'm dodging Nene like an absolute god. Missing my marksman shot like an absolute pleb. And now the fun mechanic is out. I repeat, the fun mechanic is out. Koshai Leaf Shield has been... It's just entered the playing field. I'm about to have so much fun. If you guys don't know, I really don't like the mechanic. I do not like mechanics that affect stamina like that. But, anywho. I'm not really doing my best at picking a target here. At all. I, I'm, I'm focusing Nene and then Koshai. I guess it's not too bad because Nene, or, uh, Koshai did have Leaf Shield. But... I think I could have been a bit smarter on my, my whole positioning. It's best to kill one behemoth first, as quick as you can, and to also not get backhanded by, or to get, you know, hit from the back by Nene, but that's besides the point. So it's really good to kill one behemoth first, so that way you're just down to one behemoth. Like, you don't want to, you don't want to like, widow them both down at the same time, which is what I'm doing right now, like an absolute freaking bot. I need to not do this, but I don't watch my own videos, so I can't learn, you know? Unlucky. And also, I'm, I'm just going to... Hope you guys are enjoying this sort of commentary real quick, because I have nothing else to say at this very moment. Shooting this orb back. Wait, what? Alright, this is why I can't do commentary. The game is um, in an amazing state. Not buggy at all. And Vietnam has been unleashed onto me and my, my family right now. Not really digging this at all. That would have killed me, by the way. Freaking that leap animation. This is eSports ready, as the Revy would say. We're just going ham. We have zero stamina and leaf shield. Having a great time. I love it so much. Can't dodge, no stamina. Woo! Poggers. Poggers in the chat, bro. So right at this moment, I don't know how many revi how many revives I have left, but I'm not I'm not thinking it's too high. And I'm really trying to close out this freaking Koshai kill because the longer it's alive, the greater chance of me dying there is. Like having two things that like I actually having way more than two things to dodge. I have two behemoths. And a couple of pylons. And that's just those are not the best of dodging odds. So we finally kill Koshai. It's in the it's in the dirt, bro. Dug it a grave. It's taking a dirt nap. Night night. And now it's time for the Nene kill. Which I'm pretty sure did not go as, as I really want it to go, which is um smooth. I dodged that like a freaking absolute Chad. But after this it just Okay, no, I'm popping off. I lied. I'm wait. Um I got outskilled by a pylon that goes through the monster. I forgot about that, bro. You gotta, you gotta account for the um, high skill mechanics, chat. And right there, what happens if Nene has his aether pylons out, which are the uh, the multi-stack pylons, 
and it shoots a freaking lightning bolt and charges it up, it goes through Nene. That one specifically goes through Nene. So if that happens to you, just be aware if Nene's in Aether mode, casting out lightning, you're going to have to either shoot the orb back, hit it back, or dodge it, or you're going to die. So just a, a friendly reminder of this amazing game. Anywho, I now have some pretty cracked attack speed testing it out real quick, just seeing what's going on. Picking up the Wisp. I'm commentating on way too many things that don't matter, but hey, it's cool. We're chilling. And this is going to be the, the Torgaro fight so far. I have Thrill the Hunt round one, Breath of Life, I think, round two, uh, Pact of Swiftness round three, and Overclock. So I'm at 50% more damage. I got some life stuff I get hit, which I shouldn't because it's flawless. And I have 35% extra damage just off of my amps. And right now, the goal I'm going for is to break the gauntlets first, because at a certain point, if I don't kill it fast enough, it'll get armor on the gauntlets, and I that, at, that, at that point, I will do two damage and be upset. So I'll do my best to just break everything as quick as possible, as, as quick as possible, and I'm doing a good job. And in this build, it's good to break parts for me because I have overpower. It's just it's a not it's not a bad idea to break parts. If I keep it in like a stagger state, I'm just doing extra damage. I don't have plus six because repeaters don't have the best slots, you know, great weapon. I instead have plus three, but that's fine. So I'm just pumping out damage, doing my best. Right now, I should focus the legs a bit more. I should have done that a bit, a bit sooner. I probably could have broken the legs and just kept it in a stagger state for a bit longer. But hey, it's whatever. The timing was perfect. I repotted my potions. I'm playing Trials right now. <laughs> I'm playing Torgadoro Trials. And I'm pretty sure I haven't gotten hit yet. I should honestly check. I, I titled this freaking video. I titled this uh, file Flawless Torgadoro, but I actually haven't checked to make sure I didn't get hit. I don't remember getting hit, so we'll see. You know, we can uh, we can check after this, I guess. And if I do get hit, this video is going to be scrapped. So that's going to be a bummer. Anyway, so right now, I'm chilling. Dodge all that. Absolute Chad. Going for the feet this time. I can shoot I can shoot to the feet. Even, even like, If I'm in front of Torgadoro, I can still hit the feet. I can still hit the piglies. You know what I'm saying? The Piggly Wigglies. So that's all Gucci. And as you see there, I'm doing no damage to the freaking armored up arms. But to the feet though, oh they tender. They tender right there. It was about to clap my cheeks, but I broke its foot and it couldn't do anything. Now it's dead. Back to the battle bus with you, my brother. And I am pretty sure that's a flawless. I'm pretty sure I'm about to min and black y'all. Boom. And that is pretty much all she wrote. So those are pretty much repairs and escalation. If you guys like that, like the video because I stayed up way too late either doing this run and then also making this recording. So I'd appreciate it very, very much. If you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, leave them in the comments. And if you want to support me on the Epic Games Store, because you know you do, probably, probably not, who knows, use my Epic Games support code, code ODO in the Epic Games Store or in the in-game dollar store. It helps me out a ton and I appreciate it very, very much. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.